I used to spend 3 hours filming and editing a YouTube video that ended up being less than 10 minutes long. If this sounds familiar, I'll show you a simple strategy that I used to cut my production time from 3 hours to less than 30 minutes. Now the framework includes planning, filming, editing, and repurposing. Now I won't discuss promotion as it's self-explanatory, instead, I'll focus on the planning, filming, editing, and repurposing stages. Now, don't skip the planning phase. Otherwise, you'll spend too much time filming and editing. Now, firsthand, find an idea or topic by researching keywords and the number of searches for that keyword. Look for questions people are asking. Next, write a video outline or script. This step is crucial for cutting down your filming and editing hours. With your outline or script ready, use a teleprompter or type it out on a Word doc to refer to while filming. Video outline consists of bullet points for each topic you want to discuss, while a script is word for word what you'll say in the video. If you're like me and have trouble remembering things, a video script can be a lifesaver. To create my scripts, I use a helpful tool called audio pen this is not a sponsored video but i do have an affiliate link in the description below if you want to check it out so audio pen is a text to speech tool that helps me organize my thoughts in a clear way i'm actually using audio pen right now to write this script once you have your outline and script ready it's time to move on to filming in the beginning i filmed my videos with my iphone 12 pro and then i transitioned to using a webcam for filming honestly use any camera you have smartphones nowadays have really great quality now the most important equipment for making a youtube video is actually the microphone people can tolerate pixelated or dark videos but not bad sound for example, I watched a YouTube video of a guy giving tours in the Philippines. He was outside with wind and traffic noise and I couldn't hear what he was saying. So needless to say, I stopped watching the video. When you're ready to film, do a mic test to avoid audio issues later. It takes less than a minute and saves you time and headaches. Next, consider the distance between you and the camera. If you plan to repurpose the video for Instagram or YouTube shorts, stand or sit about a foot away from the camera. This way, when you change your video from horizontal to vertical, it won't look weird. When filming, try to look at the camera lens as much as possible. It might feel strange actually talking to a camera, but imagine there's someone behind it, like you're on FaceTime call with a friend or a family member. Feel free to use hand gestures if that's natural for you. If you make a mistake, don't worry. Just pause for a moment and then continue. This will make it easier to edit out the mistakes later on. Now, let's talk about editing, the third phase. Now, there are many ways to edit a video, but I'll share my method. I create two drafts and a final version. My videos are mostly talking heads, educational, how-to tutorials, and screen sharing. This process might not work for vlogs, but keep listening. So in the first draft, I remove filler words, dead spaces, and mistakes. It's a quick edit. I actually use Descript to edit my videos. As someone who has a hard time hearing and prefers closed captions, editing with a traditional software like DaVinci or Final Cut Pro was too slow for me. But with Descript, it's like editing a Word doc. So I use Descript for my first draft and DaVinci for my second and final drafts. For a while, I only used Descript, but now I use DaVinci for polishing. So once I get the first draft done, then I go into my second draft where I'm focusing on transitions and hard cuts. If there's a section I don't like, I cut it and try to make the transition smooth. For a long time, I use Descript for this process since it's beginner friendly, but as you advance, you can use CapCut, DaVinci, or Final Cut Pro. Descript is also great for adding graphics, music, and YouTube end cards. Graphics can be pop-ups or like B-roll footages, while music includes sound effects or background tunes. YouTube end cards are exactly what they sound like. Um, let me post it here somewhere in this video. Let's go to the next one. Peace. Now let's talk about repurposing. This means taking your YouTube video and changing it into a different content format. For example, transcribe the audio from your video and turn it into a blog or a newsletter where you can send it to your email list or post it on your website or LinkedIn. With the transcribed audio, you can also create graphics like those quote cards or Twitter style cards. I'll post it here somewhere. 
that I know you've seen it in all social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, or Pinterest. Or you can simply create text-based social media posts using transcriptions from your videos and share them on platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook. After transcribing your video, cut it into short clips, ideally around 30 to 60 seconds or less. So to cut your videos, you can use Descript or Opus Pro. Descript is easy to use and if you're already paying for it, it's a good option. Now, if you're short on time, Opus Pro is a good alternative, though it has some limitations. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a tutorial on using Descript to cut your videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.